Hi everyone, it's Sherry Enchantress. I'm here with another pick a card reading. So, it's been a little while, but um, I wanted to do a few Scorpio type themed readings and I've, I've seen this subject a lot in my feeds. So it has to do with uh, what, would they, what would they do with you? What, what would happen if you got them alone? You know, maybe like alone in a room for a while or alone in a certain place. Like what, what kind of thing would happen between you? And I know this in, you know, in the feed that I, that would come up, it would have sort of a sexual connotation. So just be, keep in mind that this might go there. And if that offends you, then maybe this isn't your reading. But um, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, although I am using the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So let me let my kitty out and we'll get right back to it. Okay, so we have three piles here. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Pile one is the serpentine. Pile two is the citron. Citrine. And pile three is the red jasper. All right, so what would they do if they had you alone? This goes for guys and girls. And so I'm saying ahead of time, see yourself, you know, put yourself where you see yourself. So you're the masculine or the feminine, the querent or the cross watcher or whatever, wherever you see yourself, okay? But this is the story. Each pile has a different kind of story to it, okay? So take a deep breath. Close your eyes, let out your breath. Now open your eyes and let them drift to the pile that's meant for you. Let's begin. All right, here is pile number one. This is my Celtic knot, my Celtic love knot tattoo that I got from the Renaissance Festival. Just wanted you to know. I thought that was appropriate. So if you could, you could see the Celtic heart and it's entwined with and the knot, the triketa knot. Just thought it was appropriate for self love, but also twin flame love. All right, so we've got the the serpentine here, which makes me think of Scorpio, even though I don't know if it's actual a Scorpio kind of rot. We have the the tarot of sexual magic here, and I try to use some other sexual oriented tarot cards, but they weren't speaking. But this tarot of sexual magic just wanted to do all the talking today, and um, oracle cards to go along this line were kind of you know it's like hmm. So what do I use? So I have I have uh, one from the um, the gods and titans, which I think we're going to start with. So the gods and titans for pile number one, what would they do with you if they had you alone? I'm like, hmm, if this guy had me alone, I don't know, what would I do with them, right? <laughs> anyway, if Thor had you alone in a room, um, I would be, you know, say, hey, let me see your hammer. So this Thor is all about action. And right now this is saying the time has passed for waiting and inertia and real action is necessary now. So trust that you are protected and supported while you move forward. So there's going to be some action here. Definitely some kind of action between the two of you. All right. And, oh, yes, we're peeking out here. We have from the Fairy Forest Oracle, we have Astrid. So she is all about love fire, sensuality, fertility, sex, and the sacredness of this kind of union. And it's, a lo it's all about passion and, ex in, and just heat, you know. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to represent the feminine in the, in the situation, but, it, um, you know, wh whatever you see yourself as is as the passionate one, the action one, or the receptive one, or both, because I feel like both sides here, 
the masculine and the feminine are going to have a lot of heat and a lot of passion, a lot of fire. So this is the love fire and this is sensuality and, and fertility and passion is your whole world. You know, it's saying let the fire embrace you, purify you and keep you alive, you know, keep you awake through the flames of love. So this could be, you know, definitely um, a fire sign couple here, but the there's a purity in the flames. There's a purity in this sexual passion that there's that is ignited between you when you <clears throat> are alone with each other. All right. So next we're going to move on to the vintage wisdom oracle, and we have beauty and strength. So it's kind of, it could be a beauty and the beast type thing. You know, it's beauty and strength. It's fire and passion. So beauty and strength here. Strength is all about, it's saying, I do not, I do not uh, pray for a lighter load, but I pray for a stronger back. So this is kind of saying, mm, Thor doesn't need a, a stronger, you know, lighter load here. Like, he's willing to take on a lot, or she's willing to take on a lot. She has a strong back. He has a strong back. They, this, you know, both sides here, I feel both sides are very strong, passionate people, and they can take on, it's like that song, Take On Me. Like, they can take on this. There's definitely one or both of you also that are very beautiful and very physically attractive. And um, and so beauty plays a part in here too. It's beauty and strength. Although, you know, it's, it doesn't necessarily have to be beauty and strength in the traditional sense. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean a gorgeous model and a bodybuilder. I feel like the masculine situation is going to be very beautifully powerful and strong, has that essence. And the feminine in the situation is going to be very beautiful, soft and alluring, and also passionate and fiery as well. And so, and, and, and really bottom line is that, you know, everything has beauty, but not everyone can see it. But you will be able to see it in each other. You will see each other as beautiful and strong and be very attracted to each other. All right, so let's scoot this back a little and see what else we got. So here we have some of your sexual magic cards. So it's kind of crazy that strength came out. And... This one plus, and, um, and this one came out, and the uh, Four of Swords came out, which were both kind of like, you know, grabbing mouths kind of cards. And so there, there could have something to do with a mouth situation. Oh, it could just simply mean, you know, kissing, but I feel like there's some kind of play with the mouth or touching the mouth or maybe feeding or, or something having to do with the mouths here. But um, in the sexual magic, um, the strength card is about is dominion, and the it's the magic of of contact. So the contact here starts to spur everything, you know, spurs this passion and desire between you, and there's going to be a kind of a concentration on a, maybe a certain area <laughs> of contact, and then. Uh, and then the Four of Swords is, is the magic of the Black Pepper. And this one is masturbating. So, and it's excitement and everything. I mean, it could be like a combination of things. Um, contact of, you know, you or some or the other person touching themselves. Mm, some kind of contact spurs as a beginning of of more touching, of the masturbating, whatever, of seeing each other in hot. It's interesting. This could also very well be not a, phys a room where you're physical, physically together. It could be like a room where the, you got each other alone, but maybe you're on video screen with each other. So that's a possibility here. Let's see what else you have, though. You have... Um, 
you've got the magician. So this is courtship, and this is the magic of intention. This is the desire to and. And it's the drive behind a new story. It's a passion and guaranteed success. Whenever I read guaranteed success in the tarot of sexual magic, that always makes me think of coming, you know, fulfilling, like having your having your orgasm kind of thing. But I feel like, so what's going to happen when you get each other alone? There's going to be a very hot situation where it's kind of like a drive between each other that you can't, there's nothing that you can kind of stop, you know. There might be this sense of like trying to stop it, but it can't be controlled, you know. And there might be a sense of trying to manipulate it to a certain person's will, but it it's like it can't be controlled. There's just too much passion that kind of overcomes. You also have the Ace of Swords, and this is about um, bonding. It's the magic of the knotted rope. It's giving of oneself. It's transferring. It's, it's transferring dust, doubt. I was saying dust, <laughs> doubt into trust. And so maybe there was a bit of doubt about things, about what was going to transpire, but then it turns into um, trust. And there's a lot of swords here. So, you know, there could be you know, even the magician is holding a big sword and a wand, you know, so it's like he's holding a lot of things, <laughs> which could be, you know, go back to the whole masturbating thing. We could also be, you know, doing oral things. Um, it could be tying each other up as well. I mean, that's a lot, that's a lot of uh, excitement um, when you get each other alone. I think this might be a case where you're alone and and you have a sense of there's no not going to be any consequences. So you're going to just try everything, right? You're just going to try a lot of things that you've been wanting to try. Um, and yeah, so and then, then the cord here made me think of you know the tying the rope, the and it's called the red rope, a red knotted rope, which it goes back to the to a story of the red thread and how. You, um, red thread connects soulmates kind of thing and then finally you have the eight of swords so here we go again with swords so so the the knife the sword the cutting the sharpness something about that can be part of of this play between you two and um, the eight of swords is the magic of the green cloth and it is about sensuality and um it's, it's saying that the body guides the spirit before the mind can guide the body. This is teaching the flesh something. So there's some kind of flesh, um, flesh type um, <laughs> knowledge experiment here kind of thing. So yeah, teaching the flesh. All right, well, let's see what the, if the charms can um, add anything to this. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we've got we've got that cord, that red knotted, and I it it's not red, but I always see it as that red thread as the connection between you guys. You got the bunny, so definitely means to me that you're going to if you guys got each other alone, you would you would have sex. You would, you know, do the deed. <laughs> uh, you've got the trustworthy Taurus. You've got key to open things up, open each other up. This is it's going to be with somebody special, okay? Um, maybe a person from New York, or you're going to New York, or this happens in New York. This is a family situation, it's cool, wish. This is a wish that you've had, an idea. You know, I was originally going to name this the escape room. <laughs> I don't know why, but so, you know, it could be something like that. 28, the frog of good luck. What else was I going to say about the frogs? This is sure. Mm, see, this is kind of taking a bite out of each other kind of thing. So this is definitely going to be 3D. So for the majority of you, I think this is not going to be one of those video kind of things. Um, you know, FaceTime or Face or Skype or something like that. I think it will be a real face-to-face -face touching each other eating each other, eating each other, you know, tasting each other kind of situation. 
it could be after a date. Um, pentacles means to me a couple of things. It's kind of, you know, the devilish flesh uh, material kind of thing, but it could also mean a, a gift of some sort, and it also could mean new beginnings, like the Ace of Pentacles, and an ex ex kind of exciting physical kind of connection. Ironing things out, um, holding each other close, you know. Uh, I love football, so that could be during football season this might happen. You never know. The cog is about, there's like, I don't know why I'm calling, the, thinking of the missing piece here. But yeah, it could be part of the mechanism. I think maybe you found the thing that you've been missing. Um, you've been in each other's dreams, and now you're going to be physical. I don't know why there's a doggy here, but maybe the dog has something to do with this moment coming to fruition. There could be traveling to get to this moment. There is good health between you guys. There's going to be a little bit of work. There's a family situation, like I said, but there is trust. See, this one was, uh, this one was definitely about trust. And, um, yeah, the Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords is giving to each other and, and having trust. This is kind of also a trusting symbol. It's like being protected and safe within each other's arms kind of thing. And it's, it's going to feel like, you know, Cupid's arrow shot in the, heart oh look at that <laughs> the arrow went into the star so yeah it's um <laughs> well this one definitely looks like a sexual situation it's like okay um and one of you could be an aquarius the star could represent that or you know definitely passionate um wands type people um you got the uh the death key death so this is kind of like very transformative, and I also feel orgasmic, you know, coming kind of situation, feeling really good and happy, and yeah, health, health again, see, wow, I was able to make the charms be sexual, <laughs> but I feel like get really good situation here, like, Taurus also makes me think essential, so it's going to be touching, smelling, feeling each other a lot, and um, yeah, other than the dog, I really think everything kind of makes sense, uh, you guys decide about the dog, because a lot of you out there talk about, oh yeah, he has a pet, and that's how, you know, we met each other, or something funny like that. So, alright, so I think that covers it, I'm going to move on to the next. Alrighty, and here is pile number two with the citron. One of the citrons came in a candle from Goddess Provisions, and the other one I bought in the little sh shop, but I like that one, too citron for Scorpios. So we've got sexual magic tar tarot here, which we're going to get to. But I was thinking, hmm, like what would be good uh, oracle cards for this reading? And so I thought, well, at least we can start off with the the gods and titans, you know, give us sort of a masculine flavor here, what's going to happen or what's going to go on. So we've got Lou, who is skill. So this person when they get you in a place alone, um, you might find out that they have a certain skill. Now, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a sexual connotation here, but I feel like that is, you know, that this person is skillful and it's going to give, give um, somebody a chance to further develop their skills and enjoy their unique talents. So, you know, it could start off just, uh, you know, innocently enjoying talents with each other or could just go straight into you know showing each other how talented you are in that respect so let's see we've got we also have the <clears throat> fairy forest card and here we have the dreamer so this is visions trans apparitions apparitions and so the dreamer talks all about one or both of you have been in each other's dreams or you dream about each other all the time. It's this dream world where everything's been happening. And it's saying that your vision is coming to reality now. So keep going, like keep this motion going. And so finally, this moment that you have 
alone together, it's kind of like a dream come true. Like, yes, now you've, you've brought it, you manifested into 3D, and it's a dream come true. And, yeah, it's, and this is happening very soon. That's what this oracle is saying, that you've manifesting this and it's coming into your life soon. And then we've got a couple of vintage wisdom cards here. So first off, let's see, we have shadow self and dreams again. So the dreams are, you know, just kind of like what I was saying. Um, and, and basically the quote that goes with this card, which is really beautiful, is the world needs dreamers and the world needs doers but above all the world needs dreamers who do so it's fine and great that you have the dream world and we need that for sure and and being in a like say a twin flame 5d relationship is wonderful but there are comes a time that you need to do something too <laughs> you need to get to the physical part you know and the shadow self is very interesting. So this is kind of like maybe in your dreams, you and the other, and or the other person, have been having um, fantasies and and a side of yourself that you wouldn't, you don't think is a part of yourself. So basically, what this is saying, this the. Um, the quote for this one is saying, that which we think we are not. This is how Carl Jung ca categorizes the shadow self, that which we think we are not. So this could, you know, definitely this could be you think, I think, you know, like we all, uh, most of us recognize there's, there, there's multiple sides to our our psyche you know we have the maybe this is the good girl by day and the naughty girl by night but maybe not so cut and dry like that maybe there's this shadow self that needs to be explored and then this person that's in your life that that you've dreamt of that is in your dreams will bring this shadow self out and help you learn more about yourself and maybe that is their very skill so that's part of why they're in your life to help draw you out to help help you discover more about yourself or the other way around or wherever you see yourself okay so let's see what the tarot of sexual magic has to say so first of all we have the hero fent. So the hero fin is all about support, and this is the magic of the powder, and it's saying to that you'll be protected, you know, but you have to have clear intentions. So, so either you or the other person, or both of you for sure, ha should have clear intentions. And that's another thing: um, the way you manifest your dreams into reality is to be clear in your intentions. So the hero fin a lot of times represents your higher self, you know your um spiritual plane and what you you know what what's happening in the 5d right so now the intention is you're having a you're making your intention known and you're bringing it finally now to the 3d so i think this is what that's what that's saying this is happening and then we have um the two of swords and so the two of swords it's kind of actually romantic and uh, it is inviting. So there's going to be an invitation coming to you to join me in this magical room where I have you alone kind of thing. And um, it is the magic of the black chicken. There's empathy and understanding. And this is a key phrase, I think. Promising the right things and then keeping one's promises one's own promise. So I feel like this is a promise that's going to be kept. This one seems a little bit like a twin flame situation to me, like maybe a karmic promise, like a, a karmic contract coming together that uh, um, a couple that have been mostly in the dream world and or in the 5D that are now going to fulfill some of their destiny being alone in <laughs> in each other's presence kind of thing which will cause a, some kind of physical connection and yeah so it might take a, a moment before the physical connection starts but let's see what will happen 
So next we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is about fondling, and it's the magic of the Black Orchid. Love is made of strength, and true love is capable of going beyond strength. There are different kinds of strength. So in the first part, we had a certain kind of strength, which was almost like restraint, you know? And then there's other kind of strengths, um, like like the strength of, of um, almost like being brave, you know, like going ahead and, and fulfilling your desires and and not letting not not holding back, you know, going ahead and, and fondling and touching and going that going there kind of thing. And then we have the five of swords. And so this is a little bit of um this is called shaking things up and it's the magic of the purple flowers and it's about taking some risks and trying different things i think this might be exploring each other and maybe learning about each other's shadow selves you know you're maybe the kinks or maybe the um dark fantasies or unusual styles and ideas and and maybe exploring some of the dreams that you've had together talking about it and and then trying to fulfill those things between each other. But in the end, you're definitely going to have this. You're going to have like an ace of chalices, ace of cups kind of situation. It's just going to be pure ecstasy. This is also the magic of the comb and brush. So there could be some kind of tender situation where, you know, like it could, that's a very... You know, like in the first part, we had maybe possible food feeding each other. And this one could be like um, a tender thing, like brushing brushing her hair on the female's hair or a massage or some kind of tender um, um, kind of uh, moment grooming or something like that. So those kind of things can be nursing, grooming, those kind of things can be tender and feel nice. But it is definitely a nice happy outcome as well and this is you know success and satisfaction and loving magic and set and festivities and good reasons to be happy in love and so this is another yes you're gonna come you're gonna have an orgasm you're gonna have that moment fulfilled you're gonna have it so so yay for pile one and pile two both are gonna and you get each other alone, you're going to have sex and you're going to be fulfilled kind of situation. And uh, yeah, so I feel I feel very strongly that this is also real life 3D because this is talking about how the 5D is moving into the 3D. All right, let's see what your charms have to say. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Alrighty, so right away we got the ducky, duck for fuck, <laughs> and that's the, first, the only time I'm gonna say that. But anyway, that's what that connotates. Somebody um, asked me in the comment section, why is it the duck represent that? And I've told the story a few times. If you guys know the story, then you guys tell the story <laughs> down in the comment section. If you don't know the story, I will tell it again. But yeah, it's just a rhyming game. <laughs> So here we go, the sun. The sun is all about this. It's all about success and happiness and being in love and fulfillment and coming and joy and orgasms and all of that, you know. We've got um, this weight, so strength makes me think of strength. This is the strength, the courage, the be able, ability to, to go there. This is the D. Oh, you silly D. And, um, yeah, but, the, you know, and this is, like, flowing, so this could be the waters, this represents the waters of sexuality there, possibly. Also, the mermaid could represent that, too, but I'll, I feel like the female here is going to be very beautiful, feel very nice, um, feel deep and connected and, and, and really wonderful. The, um, the writer here, like, there, well, there could be some writing going on, like, um, some, uh, um, somebody on top situation, <laughs> somebody from the behind situation, but it could also have to do with news, like, um, like the, uh, one of these cards was about invitation, which one, the two of swords was inviting, so somebody, 
Oh, that's five of swords. Yeah, the two of swords. Yeah, with the little flower. This one is about inviting. So somebody could be, you know, planning this for, for you too. You have um, the two hearts in the key. So you're the key to each other's hearts and feeling loved and, and feeling good with each other. Here's a few numbers that could be dates. You got the fairy blessed, and the fairy's holding very tight onto something she loves. And we've got the snowman, so it's something that could be happening in the winter season. Why? Why has this taken so long? There could be some dancing with the little ballet shoes. Here we have the um, the death transformation key again, and that just makes me think like it. You know, the mini death. You know the the feeling like lost in each other and dying in each other's arms for a moment, you know, that kind of thing. And it's just a transformative feeling. The um, fleur de lis, which, or lis, the fleur de lis, <laughs> which is talking about uh, France, French things. Um, yeah, kid, anything that, that relates, you know, it could be your name is French, it could be the location is a French-speaking place. Um, could be someplace like New Orleans or Louisiana kind of thing. You also have the um, reindeer, so I'm getting a double winter theme here, and the um, puzzle piece. So it's like you're the missing piece in their life. And the pacifier, I think this is kind of like sucking. Uh, it, it looks sort of like a nipple, so that could be part of this situation, like a nipple play or a lot of kissing and sucking kind of thing and you know to me the angels in the box make me think of that they've these guys your angels have been guiding you this whole time and they're very excited that you're moving from the 5d now into the 3d because it's about time all right well i hope you like that and i'm going to move on to the next all right and last but not least we have the um pile number three with the red jasper and we've got some tarot sexual magic I'll put to the side. Then I was thinking, hmm, what would be good uh, oracle cards? So I, a few, a couple of vintage wisdom. We got a couple of, of fairy forest cards. You guys got two in this pile. And uh, f for starters, I'm using the gods and titans to get sort of the masculine feeling here. And here we have Poseidon. So there's a sense of flow going on here. <laughs> so um, I just feel like, yeah, like you guys are going to get together. If he or she had you alone, if you have each other alone in a, a room, let's say, or place, uh, maybe a beach or a river or someplace. So it could have to be a water theme. It could be that when you get together, there's a, a, a really beautiful flow of energy between you, a flow of love. There could also be um, eventually definitely flows of of water, sexual water, that kind of thing, you know. Um, so, yeah, ejaculation, that sort of thing. That could be the ultimate thing that happens here. But I think overall, the feeling between you is going to be a beautiful flow, just back and forth and kind of like the sea, like the ocean waves to the shore. You know, it's going to feel like that, very nice and natural. It's going to feel natural. All right, let's see what the... Um, the fairy forest cards have to say so you've got Isa and two came out at the same time and the merciful one and it's kind of interesting because the merciful one sort of talks about death in a way but in death like so there's going to be sort of a transformation here there's going to be like an an ending of something and the starting of something new. So yet again, I feel like also this could be a 5D situation that's now transforming into a 3D one. Or um, this could be finally wishes coming true, you know, or this could be um, just learning something new about yourself. And, and you could 
And ultimately, there could be a release and a relief, you know, that physical relief, that physical release that you've so desired for such a long time kind of thing that lets the flow happen. <laughs> but um, so Issa's stillness, pause, and delicacy, which makes me think that um, this is about complete being, you know, this is, this is, it's just a, uh, a quietness, like, I feel like a, a really strong sense of calm here, but it's not just calm, like the first pile was all about passion, excitement, and fire, this is not about coolness at all, to me this is about almost being stunned, you know, like, like, um, physically shook, you know, like when you see or feel something that's more incredible than you ever thought it was going to be you almost are stunned silent right or you're almost um stopping your tracks kind of thing where you physically can't move for a second so i have this sort of sensation that that's going to happen here like this is going to be what you know like oh my god you know like, like so many things and i think the flow also means like so many things are going to flood into your mind when you see each other or you come in contact with each other, it's going to be a flood of feelings, but an inability to kind of move right away kind of sensation. So that's going to be kind of strong and powerful right there. Also, um, the um, so this could happen in winter too. So Isa is, is a winter fairy, so that could be something to do with this as well, a winter kind of sensation. Um, season so the upcoming season yeah or wherever you are in the world you know you might not be having winter right now or coming up you might it, you might have to wait for your winter <laughs> so let's see what the um the um wisdom the vintage wisdom has so we have listening so there is kind of this quiet sense here and listening is saying from listening comes wisdom so there's a there's going to be a, a stillness a, a sense of just being just enjoying the being together and the listening you know so but there's also kindred spirits so I feel like this is just really like a really powerful experience it's kind of like I just get the sense of mind blowing, you know, like a mi mind blowing connection that was so uh, 5D uh, that it never, it never thought that this would ever turn into a 3D situation. But yeah, so there's, I think there's going to be just sort of, so maybe there'll be one of you who do, does more of the talking and the other one does more of the listening. That could be one thing. There could be um, one of you that's a very still, quiet, peaceful person and one of you a little bit. But I feel like, I think, you know, I really still feel like this situation is still very much in the... It'll take a moment to transfer from the 5D to the 3D because you've had such a, um, a 5D connection. So you're going to be very still at first. It's going to be this quietness between you, and but not in an awkward way. It's going to be in a beautiful way, a very poetic way. All right, so let's see what your tarot sexual magic has to say. So here you have um, the Six of Chalices. So it's like this is about memories, you know, and the kindred spirit again. It's like, I know you, I've known you, I have know I know you somehow, like, this is so freaky. You might have a lot of deja vu when you first see each other, you know, you, you might be, like, surprised somehow at the moment, you know, that just, just a lot of overwhelming feelings. Uh, and maybe one of you could be artistic, and maybe one of you might decide to maybe part of the the situation it has to do with a portrait somehow in the room or something or maybe um it starts off with some kind of picture or photograph of each other kind of thing and then and then it turns into the actual seeing each other and you're like what oh my gosh you know i like these that the love doves are here and here's my love doves all right and so let's see what else 
And then we have um, we have judgment. And so this is really beautiful. This is definitely like a happily ever after card. Judgment is talking about love at first sight. And so that's exactly what's going to happen here. You know, you're going to see each other and be overwhelmed. And um, it's the magic of the sound. So also not just physically will you shock each other, will you hear the sound of each other's voices, or maybe maybe somehow you'll find each other um, in a you know singing or instruments or something like that might be involved. But the sound, sound changes the level of the spirit. The unexpected bursts forth to transform. Or maybe that will be what happened. Somebody will make a noise <laughs> and the other person's listening. And it's interesting. It's like the sound will be like recognition too. And in sound also maybe. So the first group of um, people are all about food and an oral kind of thing. The second group was, um, oh, I forgot. But anyway, this one could have to do with, um, you know, your sound of each other's voice could be stimulating and exciting and make you want to keep going with how your feelings for each other. So um, next we have the Nine of Wands, which is caressing. So that's good news. I think it's going to move on to a sense of touching for sure. So there's that stunned feeling that you're going to overcome and you will go to the caressing. Then there's the knave of wands. We're getting a little warmer, which is abandon. It's the magic of the olive branches. It's the magic of the three birds. So that they're both kind of outdoorsy feeling. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so and so also the, the sense here will be this is about being surprised by a person's appearance. So I don't think it means that your appearance is going to be, um, uh, you're, it's going to be very attractive. It's going to be like, you're going to be blown away. This one choked me up. I had to cough. It's going to be sort of, so there is a unique, both people will have sort of unique appearances, but spe specifically one person will have a unique appearance, but both of you will be very attracted to each other. And be kind of stunned, silent at first, and then start to want move towards each other, begin caressing and and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, and then this turns into abandon, and then we've got <laughs> we've got the three of chalices, which is passion, you know, and the magic of the egg, which is promise, and there's success in love, relief from heartbreak. So again, we have success. So all three piles are successful, which means they're all going to have orgasms and come, and you're going to have your sex. You're, that seems like what's going to happen if you got alone with this person. And um, the relief from heartbreak I really like, and specifically because it's like, uh, maybe something about this situation makes you feel very safe and secure that this is the one and and all the other people don't, don't matter. You know, nobody else matters. It's just this one. So let's take a look at your charms. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to shake it up and then I'm going to drop it. And look at them. I love this one so much. So you also are going to have the angels that have been looking out for you that are helping you move this from 5D to 3D. The money pile means to me 3D, physical. Good job. you got hug, sing, and wish. You've got the world. So, you know, the world's coming to fruition. It also means orgasms to me. you got C. Well, you might even get a commitment out of this situation. You've got Mercury, which is communication. So even though it, there's this sense of silence, there's still this amazing communication between you. And maybe it'll be music or something that gets you there. Um <clears throat> Or your voices, you know, something about your voice. Very beautiful. Peace and love. Um, dancing and music here again. The elephant of memories. So like the six of cup memories right there. You've got like a mini death going on here. And that's kind of like your cards right here where um, you have this sort of stillness and quietness. Like winter and this key to each other, you know, opening each other up kind of thing. You also have this, like, fixing each other kind of situation. Like, this last card is, like, talking about relief from heartbreak. It's like 
this kind of cures all your ills, the situation between you two. The other symbols could be like spirit animals talking to you. This is an amazing connection, you know, you're feeling safe within each other's arms. You've got fairy dust, so it's fairy blessed. There's the arrow to your heart. You're the missing puzzle piece. You're feeling very close and connected. You're going to soar and fly. Beautiful. This is your karmic connection that you finally are completing this cycle together and going to be together the way you're meant to be. And you're divine and you decide and you're... Uh, Whatever, you know, why do you have special meaning for you? And the glass is about seeing things more clearly now and seeing the fine details and looking closely and creating things together. And yeah, so beautiful. You guys are super connected here <clears throat> in a possible, you know, commitment kind of outcome. Yeah, and then the kindred spirits, that's the one that have the karma. And the, the wheel just makes me think of karma and, and fulfilling your, a destiny kind of situation. So there you go. I love the world, too. I think the world is about discovering the world together, you know, a whole new world together. It's going to be a beautiful experience when you guys got each other alone. All right, so I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.